my god. Leave me alone, scammers. Alright, everybody, welcome to Matchstick Melee. It's a beautiful Monday night, and we're about to play some Street Fighter! Uh, let's go ahead and get our first two contestants in here. We're gonna be having... Let's see... Uh, the Maelstrom. A.K.A. Bloodbath McGrath. Should be in here somewhere. Yeah, what's up? My bad, were you calling me to the stage? Yes, sir. Yeah. There we go. Maelstrom and... I'm gonna forget my own, my own face if it wasn't, like, chemically bonded to my skin. <clears throat> Ham bone. Ham bone! Ham boning! <coughs> oh no! Alright. His ham bone. Alright. It's Cuba. I know it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I guess of all people, I'm, I would expect Christian of all of us to know. But he, he called this shit out quick. For five years, I've had this flag, I felt like. And people have always been like, what the fuck is I that know flag? I it's not the Puerto Rican flag, because that's what I thought I was. As soon as I showed up in his stream, he was like, bro, why you got a stupid flag? All and right. the Christian is not ready to go here. <laughs> Just want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. It's going to be a little weird. Did a weird one. Underscore did all the sponsor quests. Thank you, Underscore. <coughs> Top contributor right there. Okay. All right. Let's get it cracking. <coughs> all right, don't forget to mute yourself, buddy. Oh, no. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. Okay. All righty. All right, folks, here we go. First match, 23 contestants tonight. I hope you're ready for a good time. Oh, Hambone's playing a boxer. Round one. Fight. And here we go. Alright, let's take a look at this. Nice flash chop. Good low poke there. Oh, handbone coming in low. Oh, flying cross chop. Okay. Not often seen. Oh, he tried down with the, with the little rope of dope. Alright, handbone trying to put the pressure on here in the corner. Handbone working on that last little chunk of life from Bloodbath. Oh. Blood Bloodbath keeps trying to catch with that command grab. Alright, so Handbone. Not going in too deep. I can respect this. Big whiff punish there. Thought he was within grab range. That's fine. Oh, speaking of whiff punishes. Ah, oh, little little shy on the uh, the shotgun headbutt there. Ooh, nice, gets the forward grab. Okay, another one. Oh, hat trick. Nope, nope, nope. All right, bloodbath catching on. <gasps> Jab out of the stomp. Oh, and that low taking it. All right, Hambone. Balrog win. Hambone with a game one. Man, Bloodbath Round wanted to go one. first and everything. Oops. Fight. Sorry, folks. Missed the button. Oh. Oh. 
All right, so Hambone already down. Damn, I looked away for a half second. Definitely finding it harder to do damage this time around. Nice. Handbone kind of getting a read on uh, Bloodbath's uh, punishes. Sticking out an extra move to keep those dash ins in check. Good V, yeah, good V shift. All right, Hambo just thinking it out. Over jumps. Bloodbath with the forward throw to punish. There's a lot of light combos here. Yo, all right, what's the wake up? Oh, checked him low. Oh my gosh, that DDT is just, it's, he was, he's 0 for 3 right now. Bloodbath, Bloodbath, I'm begging you, buddy. Oof. Oh no, Bloodbath and Dangerous, there it is, that's what I was alluding to, I was I was getting towards it, I was like, oh, he's heading to Stun City. Oh my goodness. To paraphrase uh, Rigby from regular show, ham boning will take your life one day. <laughs> but yeah, not a bad start for, uh, for Mr. Ham Bone. It's go time. All right, moving on from that, we are going to be going to Hoodie and Bonk Distance. Let's get in here. Hoodie, and then I believe I need to type this one in. I will admit, I just liked this guy's name. Made me think of uh, Bonk from the, uh, the TurboGrafx-16. What up, Jay Digga? Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jay Digga is also a prominent uh, Tekken player. Dark light hang off on on your match. We'll decide which two out of the out of the round two we'll be getting on Let's after this. Because we'll have two from round one, two from round two, and two from round three. Oh, I gotta get these names in here. Oh, looks like we got some some bonk distance friends in the audience. All right, all right. Buy your premier pass that you could only buy way after that um, other pass. That is the truth of what you. I think these are backwards. But, uh... Oh, we got a Falk. All right. Let's begin. Round one. Fight. I can appreciate this, Jay Digga, of course, uh, rolling with, rolling with a little gill. Things riding pretty even right now. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, this guy brings up a good point. If anybody did not, well, I mean, yeah, Bonk Distance is the perfect name for a fault player. I, I can't even fault you. All right, so round one ends with uh, Bonk Distance. Taking the lead on rounds. Jade to get trying to, uh, trying to anticipate. Throws a uh, oh a short knee. And Bonk just slapping them wrists like a Catholic school teacher. There's the foot stomp. Gets the cross up. Oh, uh, Jay Digger was not ready for that. Woo! All right, bomb distance with game one. <laughs> Falk with Bonk. It's true. If there was like a Rafiki skin and she'd just be beating people with that stick. <laughs> Evan X Gao, thank you for the follow. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Oh, all right. Jay Digger with the first bit of real damage here. Ah, uh, tries to jump over, gets denied. Jay Digger just having a good time jumping, man. It's like, you can't, you can't do anything like this in Tekken. <laughs> crack, crack, crack the eggs into the bowl. And my X, the flower to the bowl. We're doing that with punish. We are punish. Like, like, yeah, I'm gonna karate chop your stick. It'll make your hands feel all numb. Oh, nice. Caught him blocking high. Kicking them, kicking them ankles. Nope. Nice, got the fire lariat going. Whoop. Okay, not bad. Empty jump to block. Gets to recover off the fireball a little bit. Oh, crush counter. Ah, bomb distance drops though. This might be a good opportunity for JJ. Unless he gets super ball. And that will do it. Falk wins. 2-0 for Bonk Distance, sending Jay Digga to losers. You go, Falk. You get, you, you go. You go get yourself a better costume. Go you, you go. <laughs> All right, results are slowly starting to trickle in from the other, uh, from the other matches. All right, Ave beat mix up 2-0. Let's see, Black End Galaxy took on Bubble Button, defeated him. Do -do. Looks like Drooler and Shacky are through. I will now ask them. <laughs> we got what? Hoodie and, oh well, Hoodie and Bonk Distance, we just watched. Uh, yeah, oh, that's Ultima Leo. I forgot about Ultima Leo. I mean, not like forgot, forgot, but I forgot it was Ultima Leo. All right, so 2-1 for Drooler. All right, that leaves Green Ranger versus Hornet and Reckless and Zero Knight. Should be done by now. It's 
Sorry, folks. As soon as we have these results, we'll be able to pick out some fights for the for the next round. Although, I guess I could just make uh, two calls and then we catch up, right? No, the only problem is that... Yeah, if not everyone's ready to go, nobody starts at the same time. Weapon X, you lost. What was the score, buddy? Two O, all right. Two O for Reckless. All right, and we are slowly populating the losers bracket as well. All right, that just leaves it's Hornet and uh, let's see. All right, tell you what, let let's start looking ahead. I kind of see. We saw we saw Bonk Distance. We have not seen Black End Galaxy tonight, or War Machine. I kind of want to watch Sky and War Machine, so we'll we'll do Sky and War Machine, and then, huh? Oh, okay. O2 Green Ranger lost. Okay, Hornet. All right. Well, now I kind of want to know who's taking out Green Ranger with the O and two. So let's do. Um... Yeah, let's do Sky and War Machine, and we'll do Shadow Ace Hornet, and then we'll let everybody else fight off stream. Uh, let's see. At Sky. Sorry, folks. Just got to put this into the into the Discord real quick. Shadow Ace. I can type. I can't type. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Bam. 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 Letting everybody, everybody know. All right, Sky and War Machine coming up. War Machine, War Machine, War Machine, War Machine. Where are you, Sky? There we go. Oh, Rose, that's right. Okay, here they come, folks. Yeah, Evan Gal, uh, just wait for wait for whoever matches up with you and losers, and then uh, you'll be good to go. Rhodes, where are you, Rhodes? Why do you lead to Rome? No one's going to get that. Zack. Hey, there we go. I just basically have to give up. That's the that's the, the thing that brings the people in. Just give up. <laughs> All right. I'm looking forward to this one. These two are both very, very strong players. Oh, uh, Ryu instead of Gilda Knight? Yeah, possibly. He did get a fairly significant power-up this last season. I uh, would not blame him. Let's do this.
20 minutes. They were, you know, we're doing okay. We're sliding along. Ah, oh, now we got that gill. All right, all right, all right. So you're probably going to see some pretty studious uh, rounds here from Sky as, uh, you know, he figures out what exactly Zach's doing. I suspect Zach's probably going to start going balls to the wall pretty quickly. Round one. Fight. Oh, never mind. All right. Looks like Sky's starting with some basic patterns here. Oh, back to the corner. Not getting hit by the V reversal. Always a good decision. All right. Yeah, we got fists. Nice. Got the fireball. Got to show Sky that uh, the skill does not intimidate. The fireball tactic is useless. We got B-Trigger active. War Machine just waiting for that one good connect. And there it goes. B-Meter is drained right now, though. And it looks like he's sort of working on draining that, too. But we got a nice B-Trigger activation from Sky. And he takes round one. Not the closest round, but Sky knows he can't sleep on War Machine just yet. Crack, 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 eggs to the bowl. Ooh, nice confirm, get the stun. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, he drops. Oh, that was War Machine's perfect opportunity for a comeback. Gets a light touch, can't confirm into the, into the combo. Oh, and Sky knowing that frame data quickly punishes taking game one. Man, our, you know, so far this is kind of going the opposite direction I thought it was going to be. I was expecting a little more protracted, uh, again, studious battle, especially on Sky's part, but he is leaving his uh, careful neutral behind and just going balls to the wall on this. Round one. Fight. Oh. Nice, good straight combination. Sky coming right back with Fire Lariat. Ooh, crossing it up. Oh, peer reversal no go. War Machine kind of stuck in the corner there. This guy goes under the jump. Peer reversal again. We're going back to mid screen possibly. Unless War Machine decides to uh, press his advantage here. Nice redirect. We got the Batista to bring it back to center stage. This guy just finding these holes in War Machine's defense. Round two. That is match point now for Sky 647. Machine gives him the, the EX double. Sky knowing is exactly how to punish these uh, dashing straights. Oh, does not reposition himself that time, and War Machine gets some free damage. We're getting a lot of good shimmies into his pattern here. Sky seemed to be overwhelmed there for a half second. Of course, now we got that good V-Trigger activation. Retribution combos all around. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! All right, War Machine, signs of life. Still a precarious situation here. Sky only needs one more round to take the set. Oh, testing the waters, getting his distance like a boxer. Nice little redirect there. Now we're going back the opposite way. First throw of War Machine tried, and uh, Sky's already wise to it. Good break, good break. Ooh, turn punch. Forward throw, not bad, not bad. Went for the ankles. Oh, okay. Gotta keep that, oh, if he can get one more tap. Ah, I don't think it's gonna happen. This guy's gonna burn his, uh, his stun meter away doing this extended combo. He definitely can't kill War Machine from here. Oh, he tried to cross him up. 
bold and daring. Oh, look at War Machine. He's like, I don't even, I don't even need to be there to take that. Thought he could anti-air. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, and War Machine. War Machine manages to get it. Woo, all right. Taking it to game three. Oh, War Machine, you had a scurred. You had a scurred, man. All right, Blarled 1-2-0 over Abe. In other news. Round one. Fight. All right, here we are, folks. Game three. Oh, kind of surprised what machine didn't go for him after the uh, big whiff on that on the ice ball. Oh. This guy getting in there doing some pretty serious damage. Nice throw break by War Machine. Tries to go through the fireball. Nice activation. Oh, he that is the wrong lake, but he still gets some damage off of this. Using all the EX meter. Another forward throw. Oh, look at that shimmy in and out. My man was trying to work up the Dempsey roll. You all saw. Oh, there's the activation and Sky does not drop. Back to set point. War Machine stave him off. Catch. Oh, War Machine getting tagged by uh, hitting a button during the fireball. Can't punch those things out. Oh. Can't take a standing short into a combo, though. Right, War Machine, a little bit of a tricky situation here. Keeps getting nabbed by, uh, by Sky when he jumps over him. He's got to play a real cool right here. Oh! It's like, you know what won't trade? My big fire foot. Ah, and there it is. Sky647 pulling ahead of the war machine for a 2-1 victory. And uh, as we get start getting these matches resolved, uh, let's see what else we got. Hardman over Bonk Distance 2-0. Uh, Blarlad over Abe 2-0. <clears throat> uh, Hambone 2-1 over Darklight. Okay. Man, Hambone, secret, secret Dark Horse villain today. All right. Uh, who did we say? I'm dumb. Uh, Shadow Ace and Hornet, that was it. Now, I don't think I have Hornet in my friends list. Let's just fix that real quick. Two T's. Nice. I took a stab and it worked. All right, let me just get uh, horned into the favorites. Nice, nice, nice. And then back of the queue. All right, so we'll probably have Ed versus, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, Dan, oh my God, if we had a Dan, that would be so cool. Uh, let's see. Z Fighter beats Reckless Weasel. Check.
So yeah, Shadow Ace and Hornet. We've got Sky shooting for uh Sky shooting for Shadow Ace. Does Hornet got anybody in his corner? I'll be sad if he doesn't. But yeah, we got Ed and Dan. Oh my goodness. Now, <laughs> I wish I had an Ed or a Dan expert with me to call this fight on paper because I got no clue. All I know is Dan is... Both of these characters are surprisingly strong here in Season 5. Well, ain't you a high-def picture of strength? I'm shaking here. Woohoo! Dan Hibiki, back after the ultimate improvement. Uh, Reckless, you are looking for... Yeah, you are looking for Hoodie, but he is in... Discord, so bu bug him there. Uh, also look for Jay Digga. Anyway. All right, Grandmaster v. Diamond. Although this could be, could be a Smurf account. <laughs> Beware the Gadoken. Okay, Psycho Flicker. Oh. Good throw break. Nice anti air by Hornet. Comes in low. Wow. He's picking Shadow Ace apart. What is going on here? Alright, here comes uh, one of Shadow Ace's famous projectile setups, but Hornet just rolls free. Says, I don't have to deal with that. You're not my real dad. Oh, good trade. And another trade to end the round. Looks like Hornet's taking uh, taking the lead. Forward throw. Oh, Hornet coming in high. That's a throw. Wow, Shadow Ace, big pressure in the corner. There's the Psycho Upper. Oh my goodness. Hornet buys time with the, uh, what, the EX Gadoken? And then just leaps right over the, the yeah, the V trigger. And watch Shadow Ace slowly learn the matchup. Forward throw, and that is just enough for Shadow Ace to take around as well. <laughs> this is not Daigo's Smurf account, although I'd be honored if it was. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Shadow Ace deciding that, uh, you know. Most direct route to the to the finish is just pour all the damage in right at the start. Oh, all right, good. Shadow Ace with the Psycho Knuckle, but he back, got back on D. Corner with a little bit of a life deficit here, but uh oh. This man did take round one off of Shadow Ace, so he's, he's not untalented. Plus, he's got, you know, full sticks of butter just sitting right down there. Melting in the sun. <laughs> oh, uh oh, whoa! Okay, that was weird. That's one for the compilation video. Round one. Fight. Ooh. 
Okay, once again, Hornet off to a strong start here at the part, top of the round. Nice anti-air. Oh! Get hit by that power, you know. Oops. I was thinking Terry. <laughs> oh, oh, he just let Hornet get hit. I think that was the change in the block direction. Ah, there goes Hornet trying to get the uh, the V-Skill rocking. All the good cancels. Oh, he's going to die in V-Trigger. Oh, no. Hornet once again, getting the early first damage. He needs this round to stay in it. Oh, nice crush counter. Psycho Flicker. Oh, the EX Tatsu. Okay. Right. Oh, man. I feel like you take a Godoka to the face. Uh oh. Yeah, think about your life choices. Taking Godokens to the face. All right, Shadow Ace now with a very substantial life lead. Has Hornet in the corner. Okay, nice EX Tatsu. Big Godoken. He's got one more in the chamber. Oh, he's just firing it raw. I'm not sure if he's trying to cancel into these at all. <laughs> and Hornet goes down. Shadow is taking that one 2 0. Can't believe Takito lost. Oh, oh, magically. Uh, Weapon X, you lost. What was your score? Oh, and 2? All right. Uh, Bonk Distance 1 2 0. Oh. Where were you, Bonk Distance? Oh, you were playing Hard Man. Wow, you took out Hard Man. That's, uh, that's hard, man. Uh, viewership go down. Uh, anyway, Shadow Ace versus Hornet. Uh, not a bad showing from Hornet, but Shadow Ace definitely, uh, showing what a man with purple energy on his fists can do. Okay, I can take it from context clues that uh, Black and Galaxy has lost to Hitman. Let me just get the score real quick. Oh, never mind. Okay, that means we're ready for get for round three, uh, which means oh man. We just saw Shadow Ace, but Blarlad really wants to be on stream. All right, we haven't seen Blarlad tonight. Let's get Blarlad on. Um, who else? Oh no, no, no! Sorry, Hardman beat Bonk Distance. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb, folks. I'm sorry. All right, I would say let's get Hitman, Hardman. Yeah, the Hitman, Hardman, and then Blarlad Shadow Ace fights. Nah, not yet, buddy. Not yet. Oh, it feels so good. All right. All right, let me just discord this out, folks, and we'll be right with you. In the meantime, don't forget to hit that match arena. <laughs> <laughs> Versus Shadow Ace. 
Bing bong. Okay, Hitman hard, man. Let's bring him in. Kind of funny these guys are meeting in tournament. Wait, what? Wait, Bonk Distance won? Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, it got reported without my... Okay, my bad. My bad. I will fix. Yes, challenge. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, we're just clarifying real quick, guys. Okay, so... Okay, so Hard Man won the fight. Okay. Alright, uh... Other news, Reckless Weasel over Hoodie 2-0. Okay. Alright, so it was... It was Hard Man. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, because I didn't even submit that one. <laughs> All right, that means, uh, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Bonk distance. Oh. Okay, and Bonk Distance just beat Zero Knight. He did win that one. Sorry, folks. Just taking it nice and slow. Make sure I don't get anything messed up. All right, I don't have to add anybody to, uh, to friends list or anything. These guys know who they are. They've been buddies of ours here on the channel for a while. One life to play Hitman. And Hardman, aka Andala. They are training buddies. So we're going to see what Bison versus Colleen. War Machine 2-1 over Mix-Up. Okay. Hopefully these guys can connect. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Alright, we're good. Got, whoa! How did we get to $68 on this? Naturino, you guys are awesome. Yo, congratulations to you guys. I gotta check to see who's the big donor in a second. Anyway. 
All right, so it looks like Hitman taking the first little bit of damage here. Get that sweep. Pretty crucial for most Bisons. You gotta start attacking people on wake up. Hardman says, I'll show you a, a sweep. I'll mix these hands in. Oh, you got hands, says Hitman. You got air hands. Oh, <laughs> yo, we're playing Mario Kart. I'm seeing some double dashing up in here. Nice, good pressure in the corner. Hard man fighting his way out. Oh, the arm bar for the win. You gotta love it. Such a good, like, punctuation move. Like, yeah, you never had this. Oh, man catching hard man as he goes over. Hope everyone's having good fun watching these uh, Mega Man bosses fight it out. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Got some EX hands, get the sweep follow up into more hands to the corner now. Hit me with the EX scissors. Oh, hell attack again. Fireball in the corner. Fireball on wake up. Tries to get the grab, but Hardman with a nice little uh, evasion technique there. Forward throw. And armbar again! Oh my goodness. Hard man letting All Hitman know what he win. thinks about him. Let him know! down to half health. Forward throw. Oh my goodness. Hardman with these nice little long distance pokes. There's a crush counter. Hitman setups. Oh! Too much happening at the ground for him to catch the juggle. A lot of jumping in. This one's critical. Hitman needs this round. Can't let Hardman know round brown you, sir. You got the better rank. You taught the man everything he knows. Not everything, but you know it. Oh, nice. Close proximity EX fireball from Bison. They'll never see it coming. EX double reverse into the grab, okay. And trying to use that corner pressure. Hard man definitely in a bad situation right now. Ooh, alright. Now we now we have to pick our finishing style. You don't want to lose that here. Oh there you go. That's all you need. That's all you need sometimes. Scissor to grab. Final round. Okay, just burn that EX meter. Oh, hard man winning the air to air. That's interesting. Okay, it's a back grab. Hard man trying to make up this life deficit. Hitman having nothing about it. Oh, went under with Bison's slow walk speed even. 
Oh, he was on the wrong side for the hard follow-up. There's a hard follow-up. We got V-Trigger activation. We got... Yeah, we got what? Probably Fierce Fireball. Hitman ties it up one-to-one. -one. Good start to winners round three. All right. Sorry. Oops. Catching up. Bam. Dark Light over Reckless Weasel. 2-0 and other news. Round one. Fight. are rolling along. Okay, back to the fight. Looks like Hitman had a pretty good lead there. Hardman wouldn't let him back down, though. Tell anyway, you what, these Colleen combos, they just keep going. She can put on the pressure, she can get these good long pokes. The trigger activation, of course, gets the link. Trying to knock down the X Inferno, looking pretty safe there. Oh! One hit of the Hell Attack going through. There's trouble, though. Oh! Ooh, Hitman very nicely able to get out of that. Oh, Magic Pixel time! And catches Hardman trying to dash away, I'm guessing. Round two. Fight. Okay, there's that crush counter. Hard man trying to even out these life totals. This is match point for Hitman now. We're in the very opposite situation to where we were just a few minutes ago. Oh, Hitman comes up short on the scissor kick. And Hardman takes advantage of it. Oh! We're we'll talking about Bonk, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, that was a top like counter. And Hardman gets the round, taking it to final round in the set. Final round. Fight. He has hands to start the round. There's the follow up into more hands. Oh, a little stutter. Hitman coming in right over the ice ball. Okay, okay. Seems like he could have gotten a little more off of that. Nice anti-air. Look at that read. Right. Oh my goodness. Hitman tried to jump away. Not sure what that was about. Uses the X scissor to catch her on the jump. Forward throw. This could still really go either way. Hard man V trigger hot and heavy. Uh oh, uh oh. One more good BNB. Oh, or that. And now Hitman has his V trigger up. Any teleport shenanigans? No. Gotta watch out for that stuff. Oh, Hardman saw. Sorry, Hitman saw the counter opportunity and countered the counter. That, my friends, is a crisscross. And Bison wins. So yeah, 2-1 for Hitman here in Winner's Round 3. Very nice, very nice, very nice. It's go time. And that'll send losers down. Or sorry, send Hardman down to losers. Woo! All right, Black End Galaxy wins his match 2-1. to one. There we go. Sorry about your luck, Bloodbath. That's okay. Let's see. Um. Oh man, see that seems like one that we could, I, I would divert to losers to watch Bonk Distance versus uh, Black End Galaxy, but we gotta keep going.
Alright. Uh, Green Ranger and blah, blah, blah. Z Fighter takes it over Hornet 2 1. Alright, so it looks like our uh, champion from last week is back in good form. Although I'm really interested to see what Hambone did to take a game off the Z Fighter. Anyway, on to Blarlad and Shadow Ace. What up, Shadow Ace? Welcome back. Where are you, Blarlad? There you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Went for a jog right before the uh, tournament started. I clearly have runner's lung. All right. ECW Shadow Ace. And the Blarlad. I don't think these two have fought yet. Will Shadow Ace succumb to the tire as well? Reckless, thank you for coming through, buddy. Appreciate you playing along. So thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, ain't you a round one? All righty, let's Fight. see how Shadow Ace does against the tire. Wow, these guys are actually really close in uh, in rank as well. I mean, obviously they're both Grandmaster, but look at the rank numbers. There's that a deal punch. All right. Yo, look at Shadow Ace, unafraid. Ooh, but Blarlad getting rid of all that stun. Oh, that tire thing. Oh, my goodness. The low hit. Wow. Takes care of the tire and Blar Aladdin. One move. Nice use of the, the, the three button kick there. Oh, you can't jump that because of. Oh, I see why Blar Lad does that every time. He's waiting for somebody to try to jump the tire. Cool. All right, we got command grab. Pressure in the corner. There's the CC that uh, Shadow is just looking for. It takes the Abigail punch, though. Uh-oh. Looks like the, the CFM underwater might be happening. Ooh, all right. Shadow Ace abandons the Psycho Knuckle. Forward throw. Oh, he tries to keep it safe with the V-Trigger activation. Battle combo. Ooh. He almost had him after that, uh, after that V-Shift, but not, not quite. And yeah, that's enough to do it. All right, Blarlad going to take game one. Trying to come in big. Oh, shut down. Oof. Big swings. Oh, the V shift, no avail. Oops. 
Nice! Actually, that was probably the best answer. Psycho Knuckle? Heck yeah. Oh, big crush counter. But Shadowy Scott, nice wake up. He keeps popping the V-Trigger to try to keep it safe, but Warlad retaliates. Oh, caught him trying to hit a button out of a, out of tire stun. What do you even call that? Match point Blarlad here. Alright, nailed him before the tire could come out. Had a little cross up, couldn't get a link off of it. Have Abigail punch. Oh! You know what? Better take the tire than uh, be there for Abigail. Oh, tried jumping away, got nailed with that. Can shift again, got him with the break. And he's just tanking these tires. There's really no reason for me to interact with these at all. Hey, Psycho Tendrils. That's like the first time we've seen those. Little grab. Trying to catch Blarlat on a wake up here. Yup. There's the V trigger. Oh, got low, but the EX, uh, EX Psycho Knuckle. And links it. Okay. Shadow Ace on the board. Final round. <coughs> Fight. All right, Shadow Ace not off to a great start, but he does get this cross up. Oh, they're they're respecting distance. Or testing CFN. Nice crush counter by Shadow Ace. Oh, good confirm to super as well. Gonna take this uh, life lead substantially here. And has the good presence of mind to just back off a little bit. Doesn't want to give Blar Lad the space that he feels uh, safe enough to summon Tire. But oh, there it is. And iframes on grab animation. Ooh. Oh, he got caught though. That might be it. That empty jump. Oh, guard crush. Is he going to be able to get out of that? <gasps> Taps. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and with a couple of lows, Larlet squeaks it out on Shadow Ace 2 0. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's go time. Well, that is going to settle that one. Blarlad moves ahead of the bracket. Ooh, that was close. Okay. All right, before we get ready for the next one, I just want to check in on people. Uh, make sure everyone's playing. I think uh, Hornet and Ave are fighting it out right now. Uh, Sky and Darklight should have should have been playing. Bonk Distance and Black and Galaxy. We got some some quick match reports coming in here, but we're definitely going to be into win, uh, loser. Sorry, winner semifinals after this. All right, Black and Galaxy has taken down Bonk Distance. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, so that's uh, Shadow Ace versus Black and Galaxy. And I think we're getting the result. Dark Light against Sky. Tell me the numbers. Tell me the numbers.
Give me your scores, I require them. All right, Hornet 2-1 in uh, loser side. Uh, Sky 1. Oh, wow, Dark Light. Been having a run of bad luck lately, buddy. Okay, so, uh, Hardman v. Hornet. Oh, and uh, Green Ranger, 2-1 over Drooler. Sorry, folks. Just got to make sure all this is caught up. Uh, okay. War Machine versus Green Ranger. Okay. All right, time for winner's semis. First up, uh, we haven't seen him yet today, but he's been doing that good work. Underscore and Hitman. Followed closely by Z Fighter and Blarlad. Underscore, 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 underscore. There we go. And Hitman. Okay. Winner's semi coming at you, folks. Thank you for being patient tonight. There's Hitman. Excellent. Okay, that was very fast. I'm happy. I hope you guys are enjoying these matches, man. I'm going nuts trying to keep things running uh, halfway smooth. <laughs> Let's do I'm going to have to start recruiting commentators or bracket runners. I wonder if Underscore is still playing Cammy. Tell you what, folks, after this, I'm going to polish off my remaining uh, Raisin Cane's chicken fingers from the uh, from the tailgate pack I bought yesterday. And I'm just passing the fudge out. Yep, Cammy it is. Check it out. Round one. Fight. And here we go. I don't know how often these uh, two have run into each other, but Underscore is the only Warlord who's ever joined us here on Matchstick Melee. Oh, nice keep out there. Yeah, Hitman's got the lower rank, but he might have the matchup knowledge. Of course, I'm sure uh, Underscore's faced his fair share of Bisons as well, so you're seeing two finely, uh, finely honed machines on the battlefield here. Man throwing out the pokes. Underscore being very patient. Gets taken out of the air by Hell Attack. Forward throw. That's definitely enough. Bison's got some pretty strong throws. Round two. Point. Oh, Hitman with the jump away jab. 
Keeps the focus up while pushing the ball, pushing the ball, pushing the, yeah, pushing the corpse, sorry. So he has to interact with the ball. Oh, good boy jab again. And of course, double reverse, just keep an underscore under wraps. V reversal into the corner, but Hitman not accepting his, uh, his new position here. Only a couple hits off that EX uh, DP. Up. Oh. E skill no match for V reversal. Hitman keeps trying to put on the pressure. You got V trigger activation. Oh, underscore catches Hitman in the jump. Good V shift. It's the fastest bicycle move, really. Uh, I mean, outside of all the teleports, but still. Hitman, game one. And Bison win. Looks like the rust may be shaking off a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hard man woke him up. Round one. Fight. Alright, Hitman with a good bit of first damage. Got that scissor kick in there. Blocks low in the cannon strike. Neutral roundhouse. Ah, fished for the grab. Underscore ready. Nailed him with the spiral arrow. And we're back to the corner now. Of course, it's it's grab time. It's grab time. Don't don't mistake it. Don't get it twisted. Oh! Hitman with the classic misdirect. Oh, oh, oh! And of course, underscore, never, never content to just burn the whole V-trigger in one motion. He wants the reset. Oh, wow. Oh. Sneaky, sneaky hit, man. Nice. Gets cannon strike. Uh, nails Hitman right coming out of the teleport. I'm just going to jump in and grab. That was interesting. Of course, that might have been failed cannon strike. Short cannon strike. Just trying to throw off Hitman's range a little bit. Double knee bazooka. Oh. And underscore now, now in the nickel and dime phase of our, of our strategy. Oh, good V trigger, but he drops. Hitman's gonna get some free damage off of this. Oh. I'm not sure if that's close enough. And the scaling is definitely gonna impact it. Oh, but he only needs one more combo. Of course, it goes the other way too. One trade and there. Oh my goodness. Underscore new enough to just stick it out. Literally just stick it out. That man caught uh, trying to grab on the opposite side. V shifts away. You know what I call this match? Clutch. Ah, no neutral. No neutral. Oh man, Hitman stands up a little bit too early. To the corner now. Hitman breaks the grab. Oh, he might not break any of this though. Standing short. All right, underscore on the board, tying it up 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Thank you, Reckless. Thank you. All right, folks, one game to go. After this, we will have Z Fighter, Son Goku, and Blar Lad. Round one. Fight. Alright, 
Sorry, I had to turn my head for a second. Okay, coming back. Underscore, very minor life lead, but so I meant to get a little further with the, uh, what, Crouch Fears? The one that looks like Chun. Oh, Hitman trying to interrupt things in the air with Jump Fierce. Slides away. Hitman interrupting EX uh, cannon. Cannon strike. I thought that was safe on block. Round two. Oh. Yo, out here, out here in these streets, we play good neutral. Good neutral, sir. Oh. None of that today. No hooligan, no hooligan combinations for thou. Underscore could take this one in this round. My codes are about even. But if they stay that way, all it takes is one slip. Hell attack, scissor kick, there we go. Ah. I thought for sure Hitman was going to get tagged on that uh, whiff throw, but... Oh, wow. All that ducking and diving and underscore still manages to get hit by the EX fireball at the end. Ooh, and Hitman catching underscore on the jump up, tying it up once Final again. Round. Final round, here we go. Fight. One of these two is going to winner's final. The other has a long road ahead of him. <laughs> Spiral arrow. Oh, got blocked. Hitman. Oh, able to punish twice now. Start with the, with the roundhouse on the crush counter. Gets the stun. Oh, my goodness. We might be seeing an insurmountable life lead for Hitman here. Oh, he him with another fireball on Wake Up. Underscore, though, shutting him down with the EX. Grabs. Sure, sure, we got those. Oh, an EX stop, of course, beats out Hooligan because it has no hitbox. Not until you make your selection. And Bison wins. And Hitman taken down underscore two to one. Whoo! It's go time. GG's, gentlemen, GG's. All right, let me just hard man horn it. They're figuring it out in the chat. We can we can knock it down to at least loser's quarter. Y'all have to type faster. Faster! What up, Lar lad? Okay, that means uh, Hardman and Sky647 are playing in Losers off stream. Uh, we're still waiting on War Machine and Green Ranger. Which might be the thing that slows up the whole rigmarole. Just check in on them real quick and then, yeah. Uh, Z Fighter. We haven't seen Z Fighter here yet. Fortunately, they are at the top of the key. All right, typing, typing, typing. Kirby Light. I like that emote, actually. All right. So this was these were your uh, your number one and two from last week, folks. By the way, that match is up to seventy five thirty seven. Holy cow, folks! Thank you for making our our fiftieth uh, Street Fighter Five stream like extra special. That's the biggest this has ever gotten. Top three are going to be walking away with some actual serious money, and I, I cannot Let's thank you enough. And yeah, your guys' participation level has been off the charts. All right, Blar Lad and Z Fighter, that's right. Blar Lad. Master of Tire. 
vs. Z Fighter Son Goku. So I gotta wonder if Blarlad was actually waiting for this fight to pop up. Because, uh... Yeah. I mean... Got shut down pretty hard last week. Gotta wonder if he's been thinking about uh, exactly how to fight Z Fighter's uh, Kuma over here. On the plus side, we got uh, we got Abigail's horrible uh, heavy metal song to listen to. Nice counter. All right, followed up with Shakunetsu. Gets dropped again. Z Fighter having a hard time living in this corner. Does not take well to isolation. Captivity, sir. Go throw and wake up. Oh, try to come in with the roundhouse sweep. Risky, risky, risky. Fireball pressure. No, I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. There we go, shutting it down. Oh no, the tire, wow, the tire actually gets successfully called fairly early, but Z Fighter unafraid. Sends the tire packing. Very long first round considering the damage output of these two characters. Alright. Oh, we are 100% just testing waters out here. Oh, he didn't make it, but Tatsu almost getting over tire. That lower body invincibility, though. Oh no! Flarlad just playing suppression right now. Every countermeasure Z Fighter seems to be taking. Never mind. Okay, we got we got some EX Demon flips out here. Oh, nice Ashura Senku! Demon Palm, Demon Palm. Tried it again. Safe enough to go for a throw. Look at a reversal fortune. This. Like, nope. Oh, he didn't clear that quite as well as I think he was hoping to, but Larlad definitely on that last little bit. He's going for it! Sea oh. Fighter playing so patient on that one. Now, of course, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do that again because it's round three now and he has zero meter going in. He's got to play so careful. Either that or he just has to not give a flip anymore. Z Fighter maintaining that tentative uh, life lead. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to commentate the curses. By the way, to see Akuma's fireball just give up. It's like, man, I can't. I can't make this tripping back, man. Like, I'm not made of gas money, okay? Coming in. Oh, not getting schmixed by these. Oh no, that's it for Z Fighter. He really needed to nail that DP, and he did not. Abigail wins. He DP'd not. So Blarlad taking the lead on that one. Ooh, excuse me. Apologies, folks. The only thing I've eaten today is an Easter bunny and uh, yeah, a chocolate one. Don't. I'm not a monster. Uh, <laughs> the nutritional one. value is quickly wearing off. All right, here we go. Oh. Got the parry, but no uh, no response there. Z Fighter sticks out his fist for nothing. Blarlad going ham. And Z Fighter now just having the hardest time getting away. Oh my goodness. Is it? Is it? It's a perfect KO. Oh my goodness. That's gotta sting emotionally. 
Round two. Fighter coming up a little short of that roundhouse. Larlad definitely having some fun with it right now. Oh, that link drop. And Z Fighter's gonna do another EX Abigail punch. Here comes the tire for another setup. Once again, do not jump in on Larlad when he's got this going. Big crush counter. All right, Z Fighter's got the V trigger going. He's got a huge road. Oh my goodness. And that's it. Oh. Oh, Blarlad. You monster. You monster. Abigail wins. All right. Politely uh, shooing Z Fighter down to loser side. It's go time. Let's see. That didn't happen. All right. Well, I kind of think we could. I could divert Ham Bone and Green Ranger, but I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna like that. So tell you what, let's roll on ahead with winner's final. And we will see where we are after that. So, uh, we'll go ahead and get Hitman and Blarlad back in here. There's the one. And before I forget. La lad. There we go. But yeah, we'll go ahead and knock out winner's final. Hardman one two zero on the loser side. Okay, not negative one. That's silly. Okay. Oh, I hope Larlai didn't go away into another into another fight. Let me let me hit him up with the Discord. Hey, there we go. All right. All right, back at the queue. All right. So the last time I recall, this did not go so great <laughs> for uh, Hitman. But I'm sure he's had time to think about a strategy that uh, Bison can use against right. Abigail in this particular situation. And uh, I, for one, look forward to seeing it. So, join us, won't you? Here we go. All right, Hitman doing some good work here early on. Not getting hit by the V shift uh, break combination there. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't just go straight in with a. Oh, see? Footstop would have been a great opportunity earlier when he was actually summoning the tire. Once it's out, I don't know if it's, uh, if it's safe enough to try for it. 
Oh, Blarlad defusing Hitman's neutral. Oh, catches him on the recovery frames of the V reversal. Not bad. Oh, this could be something. This could be something. There it is. That's C. From my mouth to the player's ears. Ooh, nice. Titan inside. Got around Blarlad's uh, anti air. <laughs> oh, no. Hitman. You can't just sit there and wait for that command grab, buddy. Blarlad proceeds to do the chewing up. Ooh, that was essential, but that... Oh, that throw's gonna put Hitman into stun, and Blarlad's got this win, I think. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Final round. Fight. Up in the air. Yoink. Okay, nice interrupt by Hitman. Taking the life lead again. Oh, that has armor on startup. I I completely forgot that. Ooh. And change of direction on the tire. No attack, scissor. Okay. Attempts to throw. This really could go either way. Hitman doing phenomenally better than last week. Which I say is immediately after he takes that. You know what? Better take the tire than the other than the, than the rest of the stuff. That's what I say. Oh! <laughs> Abigail wins. All right, Blarled taking game one. Hitman in it. He's just uh, I don't feel he's like exploiting the the tire summon enough. He's got that foot stomp. He can get all the way across the screen. Back. Looks like Hitman's not faring very well. Oh man, I honestly thought he was gonna side swap there, but uh, yeah, neutral jump fierce does not do that. Oh, all right, and fierce. There we go. Ex scissor kick. Thank you, super fast. Just can't let that man get started. That's the problem. Oh, scissor kick taking him out of the big old overhead. Stun? Stun. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, nice big whiff punish too. Okay. Hitman proving that he can take Blarlad down pretty confidently. Good sweep, good shift, not taking the break. Hitman wise to the game plan. Oh, accidentally fails a cross up. Stomp, not able to catch him with the follow up fierce. There's crouch medium punch into scissor kick. Good combo. Couple low medium kicks into, into Inferno. Oh, he just didn't get the didn't get the, the counter to the tire off quickly enough. Oh, and he's testing the waters against Abigail in V trigger mode. You can't do that. He's got so much armor. That was a solid V-shift. Unfortunately, there's the stun. That means that Blarlad takes game two. Abigail wins. Hitman looking like he was having a little hot streak there. Took his hand off the stove at the last possible second. Blarlad exploiting that to his own advantage. The, the story isn't over yet, folks. Oh! Oh, 
Hitman's countermeasures being shut down here. Nice neutral Fierce into this BNB combo. Trying to get over, but no chance there. Blarlad hit him with the trade. In my brain, I keep waiting for that to turn into a Aegis, uh, or sorry, Chariot Tackle. Oh. No cross up, minor tag. Complete empty jump from Hitman. The cojones on this man. Blarlad ready for that teleport and puts him into the corner for the win. Round two. Point. Oh, Hitman uh, taking a little bit extra of life there. Okay, forward throw. Ah, the tire came out. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hitman just sending out like three or four things that aren't even his actual attacks and they're all impacting. Marlon too fast on those anti-airs and look, he's not letting him fall. This turned into Tekken somehow. Juggles and everything. This tire's too strong. This tire's too strong. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Hitman, you are dancing on the razor's edge, buddy. Larlad, match point here, winner's final. Okay, okay, good to know. So, the uh, the tire is a projectile as far as uh, Bison's absorption thing is concerned. Wow, right into command grab distance. That's trouble. Oh no, the combo broke. What a trade. Oh, Hitman gets caught flying away, but he doesn't uh, juggle long enough for Blarlet to actually hurt him. This guy's out of there. Oh, and he does not challenge the armor during B trigger and lost Blarlet with the 3 0 over Hitman. And Blarlad goes to Grand Finals winner's side to wait out the victor of losers. Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta check on Hardman and Z Fighter. Okay. Cool. They didn't start. It's... I wish they were done so we'd be further along, but I have, actually do have a, a match to show you guys. So, I'm going to take that as a minor blessing. Hardman versus Z Fighter Son Goku coming at you guys. This will be one of your uh, loser's quarter matches. Got to change the round count or game count. All right, they are back. Excellent, excellent. Wanted top four to be all together, but you know what? Best laid plans of mice and men and all that. Let's do this. Besides, this ought to be a pretty banging fight anyway. And we're making great time for 23 entrants. Like, I, I can't. Like, everything's moving pretty smoothly, I would say. Lower side of uh, loser's brackets kind of lagging behind, but we'll get there. It's... But yeah, Colleen versus Akuma. I'm not sure these two fight each other that often. I mean, sure, they might have character matchup knowledge, but... Ah, 
Oh, thanks, Reckless. Appreciate it. Okay. Atomic so Blazer, nice. a.k.a. Black End Galaxy, is taking it over Hambo on 2-0. Fight! Sorry. Okay. Right, folks, be right back. Okay, back at it. Z Fighter not faring so well. Yeah, gets caught low and even had the projectile follow up. Round two. All the ice box. Ice bunker. There's gonna be, I think, a lot of throw attempts in this in this set. Both these guys go pretty hard on, on that uh, little light punch, light kick combo. <laughs> Alright. Hard man trying to be a little unpredictable here. Meanwhile, Z Fighter says, I'm going to take this by the book. Nice and methodical. She cannot counter my fireballs. Got to break those throws, though. Sea Fighter able to get a nice little uh, crouch short there, but nothing big coming out of it. Hard man still with the life lead. For sure has the speed advantage. Oh, air grabs, of course. So careful, but they've only got 10 seconds left. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, is this what settles it? Oh my goodness. Oh, and Hardman survives. The animation took too long. Hardman with game one. This is how you can tell that we're sponsored by Velveeta. I can taste the cheese from here. Round one. Fight. All right, back into it. Eh, things running about even. Although Z Fighter, even when the life bars are even, you gotta remember, Kuma has much less health than the other characters, so that's weighted, that's weighted life. And Hardman doesn't want to wait for his life to be over. Oh, brain. The deep, oh, the dashboard DP I knew was coming. I was like, what What self-respecting Akuma does not, like, DP within the first five seconds of popping V-Trigger? Ooh, nice starter. Gets the EX, of course, slide into more hands. Yep, 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 yep. It is a tried-and-true combo. Fighter hanging out very close to stun. Nice use of the EX Ice Ball. And of course, gets Sea Fighter off of him. There's the stun. What do we got for damage? What do we got for him, Pat? You're getting a new car. It's called a hearse. You're going to be riding it to the body morgue. Body morgue. All right. 
E shift, and of course the uh, invulnerable frames on that EX ice stab gives Hardman the advantage there. Match point, Hardman. Oh. Starting it big. Okay, I can respect it. Oh, and Hardman taking shotgun nets on wake up. Yeah, we throw big chunks around here. Big ice, big ice. We go to the grocery store, we get the 22 pound bag, not the seven. Coleon out here getting that extra pound for free. <laughs> oh, good cross up, back throw, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Tries to get a shimmy off. He tried to lose air to air, blocks the wrong way on landing. Oh, and Hardman just hanging out in Z Fighter's face. Like, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you, I dare you. Unfortunately, he sticks out that little counter. So much recovery on that. Oh, crouching medium kick. And Hardman feels the victory slide through his fingers on that one as the game gets tied one to one. Round one. Fight. All right, folks, game three. Reckless Weasel in the chat says that Z Fighter was blocking for about 70 years. You're not wrong, but I mean, he's found a way to be very defensively oriented with an aggro character in a game that heavily favors aggressive action. I feel like that's worth something. Ooh. Wow. Hardman doing all that work just to get a successful grab off. Solid pickup. All right. Oh, comes in overhead. Hey, give me that stun. I want the stun. Give me the stun. And he is not going to get that stun. Hardman V trigger. Oh, catches Hardman with the. Oh, man. That double air fireball was critical to the entire rest of that coming off. Oh, my God. Z Fighter now in the. Uh, in the advantageous position here. Match point. And as with all big overheads, Hardman getting on and fun, fun. You suck, you Of course you counter the V break. Of course. We've seen him do it before. There's the stun. Hardman might be able to leverage this into some life advantage, like some real life advantage. Thrown into the corner though. Each projectile on a wake up gets knocked down. Coomer's just walking through these uh, these double jump ice balls. Oh. Oh, bro. Oh, no. Came up just a few pixels short on that one. Motor forward throw. Very nice. And, yeah. That was some brilliant threading of the needle. You lose. You Holy lose. cow. All right. Fight this well. really could go either way. Fight. And Hardman dealing the first amount of real damage this round. Once again, putting on this good distance pressure. Stand roundhouse from the looks of it. Poke of choice. Oh, coming in hot. Hot and sloppy, coming in. Come, Z Fighter, let us practice our strings together. Oh, all right. Oh, that repositioning from Hardman didn't exactly get him the distance away that he wanted, I think. And he's not jumping early enough to punish Akuma either, but hey, this pickup could be something. 
Oh, opted for the uh, for the stab to take heart to take uh, Z Fighter to the corner. Back throw. Yep. And another forward throw, and that's it. Z Fighter did not see the double grab coming, and Hardman comes out oh, on top, did. knocking our last week's champion out of the tournament. Hardman, two one final result. GG's guys, GG's. Alrighty. Well, while these guys uh, excuse themselves, I remind everybody that we do have a very, very nice, healthy Naturino going tonight. We're already up to 7537, as you can see in uh, the, the right uh, portion of your screen there above the chat box. I'm just going to shout out some of these donors first. Who's doing this work? Sneerful Water 57. I have no idea who you are, but you've dropped 50 bucks into the into the the, the, the fight tonight, and I cannot thank you enough. That was crazy. Uh, Reiku, Reiku Yin, you've been with us all night too. You dropped in 10. Thank you so much. Uh, Darklight, oh, Darklight Reckless. Shadow Ace, you know what? You're all doing such awesome work. I, I cannot thank you enough for contributing to the to the Matcharino pod tonight. There's still uh, time for you folks at home too. Uh, I'll type in the Matcharino command right now. If you follow that to the Matcharino site, you can type in that code there, MSMSFV50. Uh, that'll put a quarter into the pot for free. No obligation out of pocket for you guys. Um, there are also sponsor quests that you can participate in to uh, raise that even higher for absolutely nothing. Just follow some folks on Twitter or Facebook or, or what have you, and then that's it. That's it. That's all you do. All right, but it's time for our other Losers Quarter. This is going to be Underscore versus Black and Galaxy, otherwise known as Atomic Laser. Up against our resident warlord, underscore 87. Who we gotta wonder, will uh, underscore be sticking with Cammy or swap over to G like we're seeing here? Back of the queue. And then we'll move on to loser semi. Yeah, after this one, we will be in uh, back into top four. So thank you everybody for sticking with us. I know these big tournaments take a, take a hot second, but uh, I mean, these matches have been like just really awesome tonight. I don't think anyone's got a bad thing to say about them. Mika, that is correct. Gold Bunny Suit Armika almost made title card la last week. Let's see if uh Fight. Oh it, it's it's frilly skirt waifu fights. If they didn't move, these could easily be the same character in different costumes. Underscore is just going in on Black and Galaxy right now. Oof. That's a pretty early stun. Work on this perfect. Can he get it? Oh! V-Skill 2 coming through. What a precedent. That's what that P stands for. It's not perfect anymore. It's precedent. I, I did this. Nice cross under. Yeah. Black and Galaxy having a hard time figuring out where to start. <laughs> I 
Great beauty in the chat also pointing out bro, this is a this is a battle of hairstyle as well. Pig versus pony. Some horrible animal farm overtones to this. And underscore finishing with a nice time. Cammy win. Earning himself that EXP at the at the top near his name. Man, so many nice little coincidences on that one. But yeah, underscore with a pretty uh, dominating game one. <laughs> dark light says, dark light wasting no words. Pony wins. Yeah, if underscore wins uh, this next game, he will go on to fight hard man in uh, loser semi. And it looks like that is exactly what he aims to do. Blackhand finding it hard to do very much more than block. Crouch fear underscore taking his turn back. Oh, Irish went for the corner. This is where things fall apart. Oh, not a Sheikah from the corner. Oh, the whiff DP, but Blackhand can't do much more. Look at that rush down to the EX command grab. I know you're gonna backdash. Guess what? I got you, son. I got you. All right, Hooligan, whatever, petered out. Oh, oh, underscore waiting for the jump away so he can punish with Spiral Arrow. Seems like his specialty lately. And, yep, the air catch. Not a Shiko. Did she try to come in? <sighs> Empty jump over. Keeping his guard up. That's smart, that's smart. Underscore not giving away his advantageous position. And gets to punish the whip roundhouse. All right, that puts underscore on match point. Round two. Point. All right, back grab, keeping a uh, black end galaxy from uh, getting too used to playing in one direction. Oh no! <laughs> the ultimate whip punish. And nails it with the hooligan. Oh, spinning axe and the finisher. Oh my goodness. Cammy wins. Oh my goodness. Underscore with that 2-0. What, what else can you say about it? It's go time. <laughs> Underscore gets to stick around as we bring in his opponent for loser semi, Hardman. Um, before Black End Galaxy goes, though, hang on one second, folks. Well, not before he goes, before we move on in the in the bracket. Uh, Black End Galaxy asked me to push an event. Oh, that's in Discord. Okay, I will search for that. A little later on, but Black End Galaxy, I, I promise I will push push your event. Anywho, uh, Hardman. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he's already there. Have these two even fought before? Like actually, like on on this stream, I'm sure they have in real life. Uh, in real life, I'm sure they have out there in the world. Let's do this. But here at Magic Melee, I'm not sure they've ever done it. Who wants to see him do it? All right, so it's loser semi, so we still have the uh, the two out of three going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Cami Colleen. Sounds like the next big designer drug. Yo, man, hold any uh, Cami Colleen? <laughs> Round one. Fight. 
Twitch is flagging the word loony. Okay, we're off to a big start here. Hard man. Doing the big damage early. Luckily gets to recover off that counter. Alright, underscore takes him to the corner. Nails him with the spinning axe. Hard man not taking it lying down though. Oh, and now we are planning our avenues of attack. Nice, getting away from that cannon strike. I'm, I honestly thought it was getting nailed by it. Colleen must have a very tiny hurt box when she's jumping away. Ooh, oh, oh! Yep, there's the... Oh, armbar for the win! Oh! Honestly, I thought he was just going to do his uh, normal uh, dash crouch into hand. I can't believe Twitch flagged the word loony. Who even uses that anymore? Oh, nice counter. Hardman had that guess locked and loaded. Neutral. Oh. I tell you what, man, everyone's like, it seems like the meta is really evolving with the use of these uh, air to air lights. Oh, Hardman couldn't pick it back up again. Got his V trigger going, keep it safe. Oh, underscore says, I don't care. <gasps> Yo. The flip and throw hat trick, baby. Round of peace right now. <laughs> this fight's like really fun to think about. No one's got a traditional fireball. We've got counters on uh, counters on hard man. We've got like. Re relentless frame traps on on underscore. You can't even you can't even like exploit your fireball advantage because Colleen's got such an unconventional uh, uh, projectile. Oh, nice snag. Okay. Man, eating that after successfully blocking the uh, the Alonzi cannon strike, that's gotta hurt. All right. Underscore taking game one. Well played, sir, well played. Cammy wins. Yeah, they both have air throws. It's kind of funny, I, I wish, uh, it, it, you know, obviously whoever, whoever, you know, gets it off first wins. But I wish it was more like a Marvel or a, or a versus Capcom where they you could actually throw a break in the air. No good reason why you couldn't. All right, Hardman bringing the damage, thirty percent off underscore. You two probably have very similar life totals. Oh, good counter. Aw, oh, back row. Okay. What's Hard Man's plan for the corner? Oh, good cross on there. Okay, underscore chasing Hard Man in the corner now. Oh, underscore too committed for the double ice cubes. Mmm. Darklight says you could you could counter air throw in Street Fighter 3, but not 4 and beyond. Eh. I never really got into 3. I was I was definitely away from FTC. Uh, for, well, from fighting games in general at that point. 
Alright, hard man looking like he's having a little bit of trouble here, but all it takes is a uh, quick shift of the momentum. Nice! Oh my god! That's <laughs> like a quarter of her life! Whoa! Whoa! Hard man! Going hard man! Ties it up one to one. Clearly not intimidated by the by the uh, warlord rank on the opposite side of the field. It wouldn't be weird teching air throws. It'd be the same window. Round one. Fight. As they've been doing it successfully in Marvel for almost two decades, almost three. Oh, big exploit on the uh, on the block spiral arrow. Oh, and hard man once again, coming in low all the time. Full of happy feelings all the time. Oh my goodness, underscore just not making any of these block strings, and there it is. Punishing the EX wake up DP hard man. Match point so quick. So quick. Oh, hard man knew when to walk away. Ah, I think he tried to get the EX ice ball going. Couldn't do it in time. It's not particularly fast, quite honestly. Spinning Axe takes Hardman off his feet. What's the wake up? Oh, a nice deep... Uh... Can't Alan see all day. Oh, there's a crush counter, but it goes unutilized. That was high counter. Okay. Still. Oh, nice. Cannon strike. Not working out for underscore. Look at that hooligan throw. Is there such a thing as a meaty setup? Because that's exactly what Underscore did with that. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna... Oh, the trade! Oh my goodness. I didn't even see what Underscore threw out the trade with that. And if that was like an anti-air jab or a light kick, then, then we got problems. We got problems, Team Capcom. Stand on Trying to provoke some good stuff. Hard man, let's go block or hits a button after that cannon strike. You can't do that. Okay, maybe you can. Oh my god. Back knuckle into the EX. Alright, we got one part of the uh, the V trick we used up. Underscore is looking for that uh, opportunity to get the other one off. He wants to use it as a finishing move. Oh, the back knuckle again. Ooh. Oh, wow, that actually hit. And unfortunately, that did not. Unsafe on block underscore tags hard man to take the game two to one and the match. Uh, I'm Coach Steve. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Coach Steve. Uh, yes, these tournaments would be open to NYC. Uh, it's... Uh, yeah, two to one in Underscore's favor. That means we're going on to Loser's Final. Hitman versus Underscore. One of these two is going to try to take the, uh, take their honor back from Blarlad, who's sitting in Grands. Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. I made it. Woohoo! Coach Steve's coming next week? Ah, oh, it's great, because you'd be my best friend. So I, I love Coach Steve on Big Mouth. Oh, wait. I didn't mean to do that. All right. 1L2P Hitman. Loser's final. 
All right, so I believe, yes, Hitman is the person who knocked underscore into losers in the first place. So we already got a run back. And Cammy Bison. Round one. Cammy, Cammy, eggs and hammy. Fight. <laughs> oh. Hitman decided to start it off with some good pokes. Underscore responding in kind. Yeah. Trying to get the cannon spike shine new uh, cannon strike shine nuligans happening early. It's really hard to say which character has the better agility in this matchup. Bison definitely has the edge in single strike power. Oh, good read by Hitman, gets out of the throw, finds himself at the corner, that's problematic. Trades on the V-Skill, Underscore just not letting up. Oh! Underscore with that nice, uh, what, Crouch MK, I believe is her anti-air? Or sorry, Crouch MP. And underscore uses EX Spiral Air to go right through Hitman's Fireball. Very sharp, very smart. Oh, oh, oh. Man, underscore, that was just some water testing stuff. You know who you're fighting. There you go. Oh wow, I haven't seen uh, Cammy's V-Shift very much. She kind of cowers. Like, she's literally like, I want to be here. Life total's so close. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Ooh, nice neutral roundhouse underscore getting some big damage off on Hitman. Oh, it, uh. Hitman being very patient. Doesn't want to overcommit, but he has successfully chased underscore to the corner. Ooh. I, I could see CFN kind of like, kind of murking out on that. It's like, what do I do? Oh, nice teleport around to the backside. Hitman, unfortunately, not able to uh, <laughs> combine that into anything. However, it, it's over. It's over. Ooh, these are going to be some long fights. Ooh. Final round. Fight. The, the, the meta right now is to get is to get Blarlad's hands cold. I think that's what's going on. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that was very smart of Hitman. Uh, Psycho Inferno, not safe, I believe, in any any version. Or at least it didn't used to be. I haven't checked in post-patch. But, uh, for spacing purposes, you can, uh, keep safe from Kami. Oh, if that had been Psycho Axe, he would have made it. But if it was Psycho Axe, he might not have made it in time. There's the rub. Nice, once again, underscore just ready for that fireball. And EX spiral arrows right Cammy through. Wins. Game one going to underscore. <laughs> what, what, Darklight, what do you want? You want the girl? <laughs> you want the, uh, you want the spiral arrow on Chun? One. Fight. Maybe in six you'll be able to customize your fighter and mix and match all the different character attributes. Oh my god, Hitman. He's so mad. He's so mad right now. Good stop. Gets around the opposite side, but that's a trade. Ooh, scissor kick taking the uh Taking the fun out of the hooligan there. Oh, and slap. Oh, 
Universal. Oh. And then being unresponsive to this. Nice use of the counter move there. Round two. Pulling out that footwork knowledge. Ah, there it is, spinning axe again. Hitman kind of getting nickel and dime this time around. Oh, good crush counter. All right, there's the V-Trigger activation. Hitman known for doing the most non-V-Trigger related things during his V-Trigger. Oh, that could have happened. <gasps> Oh, seriously, bread and butter combos could settle this right here, right now. Oh, man. <laughs> if Hitman had had, like, a Psycho Inferno charged up. There it is again. Absorb it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be busted as AF? Wouldn't that be busted AF if he could absorb his own fireball? As it is, Stan Fierce resolves the round and game and two. Hitman tying it up one to one. Dude, it would it would be broken. Like forget OD, it would be OP. Like yes, I feed my own special ability. Thank you very much. Press B skill to win. I think Hitman needs a uh, EX meter before he can actually punish blocked spinning axes, or whiff spinning axes for that matter. I think that's pretty much the only thing he's got with enough startup to get there. Oh. Alright, we saw Hitman come back from something similar to this la just last round. Oh, he's gonna wanna he's gonna want a better starter if he's gonna pop these triggers. Really? Yeah, let's let that one go. Oh, he was gambling. He was gambling so much. He wanted oh. underscore to be within death range. He just couldn't hold out. All right, spiral arrow carry. There it is. That was a little too close. Hitman able to punish. Ah, see, there you go. All the iframes were gone on that one. I feel like it, like it must. It's gone through two of uh, Hitman's fireballs by now. Crack. Nice, get back down there. Take my fireball. Take my ball. Oh wow, that Crouch Fierce was, yeah, that needed to happen. Hitman, Hitman scared now. Hitman afraid to take his turn. V trigger waiting to pop, there it is. Oh, he's lucky that was only V reversal. And there it is, underscore, stand medium kick, taking game three. All right, quick, uh, quick Round shoulder one. dust off, and we are back into this. Dude, did you guys see her, uh, her little shoulder coat disappear? Oh, that was a good teleport. Unfortunately, he didn't get any damage off of the, uh, the massive advantage of position that grabbed him. Spiral arrow again to the corner. Hitman now has to out-pressure Cammy. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, good throw. Hitman really 
looking kind of flummoxed on a way to, to get in on Underscore right now. Underscore is in the driver's seat. is in the driver's seat. Good start, though. There's the stun that the Hitman was looking for. All right, forget me, everybody. Round two. Right, back throw to start things off. Hell attack into scissor kick. Nice, nice. Got him on the backside. Drops the combo, but picks it back up again. Oh, that's my wallet. Oh, that would have been stun, and that would have been it. Oh, medium kick to start. <gasps> Crush counter. Oh, my God, Hitman. 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 <laughs> Where are you pulling these like little bursts of genius out? Of? This goes beyond just like knowing the matchup. This is now like bordering on, on psychic ability. In other words, he can see the future. Round one. All right, here we are. Game five and losers final. And they start with a trade. Start a tie game with a trade. Oh, of course, Hitman looking to start building some meter because he's going to need it to fight uh, fight the pressure that Cammy is going to be building while she uses hers to keep the uh, forward momentum going. Walk up throws. All right, no, that's, that still happens in 2021. We're not solving that. Oh. Yeah. The X spiral. It's a risk. It's definitely a risk. Oh. Hitman immediately to his feet. Nice quick rise. Gets the neutral jump off. <gasps> Is Hitman going to take down underscore one more time? Is he going to dethrone the warlord again? Hitman with the threats. He's like, I got this, I got this neutral roundhouse. Neutral air roundhouse waiting for you. Don't you dare. Oh, <laughs> nice positioning. Fear reversal. Oh, and capitalizes on that gray life. To the corner now. It's poke wars. It's poke wars. Underscore gets the stun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's final round again. Final round. Fight. Oh, things just continue to be even. All right, throw into the corner. This is not a not a great spot for Hitman, but underscore seems kind of unwilling to take his turn. Oh. Hitman waiting for cannon spike and cannon strike and, and spiral arrow. And he's got to, he's got to get the read. He's got to like, he's got a prompt. He's got to fake out. Oh, medium kick. Keeps it going to the proper side. Hmm. Be reversal, keeping him close actually. Nope. Hitman right now looking like a dominant wall. Grab. We're gonna see a dash up. I said we might be seeing a dash up uh, low kick here from underscore to try to finish this out. Oh, but nice hit man coming out of the bottom. And underscore does it to himself. After all that, underscore. Hooligan jumps into the EX fireball. Oh my god. It's go time. But that means that Hitman has once again prevailed over underscore tonight.
and will uh, try to ride his victory into grand finals against our resident tire slinger, Blar Lad. Whew. All right, guys, before we go into grand finals here, I just want to remind everybody, uh, we've still got that Macharino up. <laughs> we still got that Macharino up and going. If you haven't already, make sure to pop into uh, the Macharino using our code, or sorry, using our, our command, exclamation mark Macharino. Um, and then use the code MSMSFV50, thank you, Reckless, to uh, contribute to the uh, prize pool tonight before we finalize everything. This is already super huge. This is a, a fantastic, like, 50th, I'm air quoting, anniversary stream. That that title is probably the largest we've ever done on our own. And there's still try still time to make it uh, even better for the top three contestants here. Uh, but right now, I've got to get the heck out of the way because we have Hitman from the losers and Blarlad from the winner's side coming at you for some good old grand finals action. Now, uh, Blar Lad did a little bit of the running over of, uh, of poor Hitman back in Winner's Final. Let's see what uh, what Hitman has, uh, what lessons he has taken to heart. I think he can beat the tire, but he has to be wheelie motivated. I'm sorry. Guys, here we are. Final match of the night. We did it. We made it here. 23 entrants down to these last two. Hitman from the loser side has to win two, three out of five matches to claim the title of winner tonight. Blar Lad merely has to defend with one three out of five set. Is it gonna happen? Nice grab. Look at that. Hitman with all the active frames. Enough to grab through and ignore the, the tire. Oh. Gets kicked out of scissors? Oh, no. He let him set up the tire. Can't let him set up the tire. Oh. Good scissor, only takes minimal damage on the backside. V reversal smart. Very, very smart. Ooh, and capitalizes on all that gray health. <laughs> Are you kidding? Straight up air jab? All right, whatever works. Oh, I didn't switch these, my bad. Larlad starting things off with the main grab. Following up with the EX Abigail Punch, uses the down frames to summon in that tire. Everyone loves it. Nobody doesn't like this tire. Hitman keeps trying to beat the hyper armor on this charge. No challenge. No, you run. Our lad, kind of burning a lot of his V-meter here. Ooh. Oh, that fireball was inspired. Oh. And Hitman taking game one with a squeaker. As in like, hey, Hitman, I hear your sister's going out with squeak. No one's going to get that. Round one. Fight. Oh, man. All right, Hitman keeping proper distance. Still kind of getting railroaded by this tire. Oh, no. Oh, God, the hyper armor command grab. 
Oh, Hitman in a bad way right now. Get nailed by the V-break. Thankfully, it's just gray life if Hitman can uh, survive on the offense for a little while. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't survive on the offense for a while. I said, I said that's what he needed to do. He didn't do. Oh, good teleport. Hitman with some nice early damage. Ah. Oh. The activation of that EX, like... Bank grab is just ridiculous. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, okay. Hitman had to burn a bar to learn the lesson, but he did it. Oh, that cross up. Oh, that's that's disgusting levels of damage for all that. And I think Hitman delayed his wake up. Mm. And the overhead, knocking Hitman out of the air. Blardlad bringing it back. High game wins. now, one to one. Ooh, is it going to be back and forth like this all, all match? Please say yes. Don't say psych right now. Round one. Fight. Yeah, there's the trouble, like, against almost every other character, if Hitman spaces that Inferno correctly, he's basically safe, but how do you guard against this man mountain? Yikes. Oh. By the way, can I just can I just point out that, that crouch kick that yeah that that uh, Blar Lad's throwing out there that is straight up Sentinel, uh, like crouch hard from Marvel. <laughs> oh no, Hitman desperately needed to avoid stun there. Ooh. All right, that's game two. Blar Lad is. He's two-thirds done. He's two-thirds done. He is getting run. Don't worry, Ray, Ray Q. Ray, Ray Q Yin. Uh, they, they've been done before. You Round could say one. these puns are getting tired. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Hitman not off to a great start this round either. The tire just taking up so much. It's just taking up so much real estate. Oh, oh man. Hey, it's not over. We still have this round. We still have this round. We still have this round. Oh, man. Uh, uh. Big flips. What? Oh, my goodness. Hitman just not finding a break. He needs to not do Inferno against Abigail unless he's absolutely sure he's hit confirming into it. Oh. That was a good one. Empty jump low. I'm always a big fan of that. Oh, but Blarled gets the link off of V-Trigger and that's that. Abigail wins. And with a big old bang, Blarlad blows through the ranks tonight to take the top spot. Three to one over Hitman in Grand Finals. Whew. Good gravy. All right. Oh, Evan, no problem. Happy to do it. Uh... <laughs> Abigail's the Shao Kahn of this game. Oh uh, yeah, maybe like the, maybe like end boss Shao Kahn. Definitely not like 
actual playable character, Shao Kahn. In any case, as soon as I kill this uh, Rocket League ad, let's uh, play Rocket League. I do. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice way to wind down. Or wind up. It all depends. Anywho, let's check out some final results, uh, shall we? Okay, final results tonight. PC Blar, PC Blar Lad, uh, coming through. I believe this is Blar Lad's first victory on Matchstick Melee, uh, first complete victory anyway. Uh, five and zero record tonight secures him the top spot. Congrats there! You will be getting seventy percent of that uh, Matcherino pot. Uh, top three players. While we're going over this, let me remind you: please uh, join the event. Um, it will make it so I can, you know, distribute the money to you that much more easily. Anywho, uh, one life to play Hitman coming through with the 4-2 for the second place spot. Very well done there, sir. Things were looking a little shaky earlier in the evening, but you adapted, adopted, and overcame, unfortunately. Uh, it was just, uh, not enough by the time Blarlad came back into the picture. Third place tonight, underscore our resident warlord. A hundred bucks. Okay, let me keep going. Underscore 87, four and two as well. Uh, Hitman able to edge him out tonight. Uh, but uh, still valiant, valiant work. Hardman, four and two. Also, the top four just, they're trying so hard out here. Four and two for Hardman, fourth place, fifth place tie between uh, Black End Galaxy and Z Fighter. Uh, Z Fighter, our last week's big winner. Uh, Hambone, new face tonight, three and two, tied for seventh with Sky647, one of our local veterans. Uh, Hornet, Darklight, tying for ninth with three, two, and two, two respectively, joined by Shadow Ace and Green Ranger. And I got to kick Shadow Ace. Ah, I feel so alive. <laughs> uh, 13th place, we've got one, two, three, four way tie between, uh, Art the Ave, War Machine, Ultima Leo, otherwise known as Bonk Distance, fantastic name, and Reckless Weasel. And if we took a take a look at this whole thing, no, get out of here, Rocket League. Piss off. There really was a lot of give and take throughout this uh, this tournament tonight. Get to her. Okay, nobody cares. All right. But yeah, look at that, guys. We had 23 players tonight. We managed to get through it all in under three hours. Thank you all for being so just on task. Uh, you guys made running this stream solo so much easier. Uh, and yeah, we, we made it. We did it. We did it. This can work. Uh, still taking applications for... Uh, for uh, uh, steady commentators and or bracket runners though. Either one would uh, help me out immensely. Uh, so get in contact with me, uh, DM me on Twitter, at Matchstick Melee, uh, if you're interested, um, or DM me on, uh, on Discord. I'm flexible. I know how to social media, I'm not old. <laughs> but let's go back and take a look at We did, we crossed the $100 line. Holy snikes. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta shout some people out here. So uh, we're gonna take another look over at the prize pool. Uh, let's go back and take a look here. All right, our top contributors this evening. Top five, Sneerful Waterfall 57. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much for the contribution to the pot. Uh, that is an incredible number, and thank you, thank you, thank you. Tibola dropping 2525 to make it a hundo. What a guy, what a guy. By the way, Tibola, best Mar uh, best Grand Blue Fantasy versus player. Just hands down, best one. Best one. D -d Don't at me. Best one. Uh, <laughs> Reiku Yin. Uh, in the chat with us pretty much all evening, uh, dropping $10 in there. It says, because you've offered such good entertainment for my commute's home when I can't catch it live. Thank you. Flippin' thank you. 
Uh, Darklight JG also tossing in five dollars and ninety three cents. Uh, appreciate it so much. Darklight uh, joined us about a year ago, started these whole things, and has been a valued member of the community ever since. And uh, Reckless Weasel has been a homie uh, for my town, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, since way back in the days of running these events off my phone, internet, and laptop at a 16-bit bar and arcade. So thank you all for your contributions there. All right, before we go, uh, we've got to uh, we've got to hit you with some ads. Don't worry, they're they're very calm. They're very it's very informative. If you are new to the channel, uh, we do this thing once a month called Versus Corona. Uh, this channel specifically handles the Tatsunoko versus Capcom side of things. That's right, it's a 13 year old game. Yes, we're still playing it. Yes, we're still fighting new meta. And yes, it's hosted by Dr. Science and J.M. Crofts. Uh, you actually don't have to listen to me at all. Isn't that enough incentive for you to tune in on the last Sunday of every month at 2 p.m. and, and watch along? <laughs> Black End Galaxy did have an event to push. Thank you, Darklight. I will circle back around to that. Um, also, if you do happen to live in Ohio, I know a lot of you don't, but if you happen to live in Ohio, Saturday nights is an Ohio-only tournament series known as Dragon Punch Online, hosted by our good friends up in Cleveland and Akron, uh, members of the Ohio FGC. They bring in you Street Fighter, uh, Power Rangers. Well, not Power Rangers anymore. This is an old ad that I keep forgetting to change. Killer Instinct, Tekken 7, eventually new Melty Blood. Dragon Ball Fighters and King of Fighters. It uh, Which version changes a lot, so just uh, go to OhioFGC.com and see what they're playing this week. And I mentioned it before, but we come at you every Thursday with Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on PC. This game is actually pretty stable, uh, despite what you may have heard, at least on PC. Uh, we, we've had like Washington State to Florida matches happen without a hitch. Uh, so that I'll tell you a little something about how uh, the the how, about how the PCMR do, but it's a real fun game. If you guys haven't given it a shot, it's your standard uh, light, medium, hard, special affair. But the graphics are amazing. The boxes are where they're supposed to be, and it just gets super hype. And again, Tabola, if you're looking at Tabola, but everyone look at Tabola, best best GBVS player. <laughs> All right. Real quick, I'm gonna try to bring up the the thing that Black and Galaxy wanted me to push. Discord, Discord, Discord. Where was it? I think you dropped it in CFG. I forget. I honestly forget where he dropped this thing. Black End Galaxy, if you're still watching, help me out, bro. Because I forget where you dropped it. Was it in Tekken? No. <gasps> Oh my god. I wish I could just track my mentions like I can on Twitter. Oh, this sucks. Oh well. You know what? It'll be on when I find it, it'll be on Twitter. I'll I'll add a I'll add an ad card and I'll promote the heck out of it. But anyway, uh Find a Black End Galaxy out there. He's got a big event to push. Uh, I believe it's May 15th. 15th or 16th. But uh, I will I will be pushing it as a as a as a as just a, a favor to the community. Eventually, when I find it. Anywho, thank you everybody for joining us tonight. Uh, remember top three. Darklight, I wish I knew. Um, thank you everybody. Top three. Remember, sign up to the match arena so I can pay you guys out pretty easily. Um, thank you to everybody who showed up. Matchstick Melee, uh, Street Fighter V, number 50. Uh, it was a great success. 
fantastic success. Thank you so much. Uh, everyone who chatted, followed, subbed. Uh, everyone who dropped a, a crazy amount of money. A crazy amount of money into Macerino. Uh, that's just ridiculous. And I cannot thank you enough. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for Soul Calibur. On what platform? I don't know yet. Hang on, I can find out. PSN, PlayStation 4. So we'll do PlayStation 4 uh, Soul Calibur next time, or tomorrow night. That'll start at 9 o'clock as usual. Um, and then we will pick it back up with uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on Thursday. Until then, guys, uh, please take care of yourselves out there. Keep wearing your masks. We're not quite done with this yet. Um, it's, it's fourth wave. Uh, keep doing what you've been doing. We'll get through this. We'll get back to IRL events. Uh... If you feel the, the, that it's cool to take the shot, take the shot, or the shots. Uh, um, not going to give you any advice on which one to take, but so far they've all, so far the, the, the big two-shotter has seemed to be the most effective. So I know this it kind of takes you out, but it might be worth it in the long run. Uh, but yeah, uh, keeping responsible, uh, the, keeping the, the cool, responsible people know you are, and we'll be back to normal in no time. Thank you so much. I've been Matchstick, your host, and I'm going to bed now. Have a great night, everybody. Peace.